Um. Just smashed my 4K TV in front of over 30 guests at my cocktail party because of the Bengals' performance today. My wife just took our crying kids and said they're all spending the night in a motel. This team has ruined my life and my party. <laughs> Classic. Man, what do you guys, what'd you guys think of the game? It was good in the end. I mean, I think the end was fine. I mean, the penalties were kind of annoying. Jeremy got face mask. Yeah, I, I think the I think the face mask was. I mean, I think overall, I, I do think it was a pretty evenly officiated game. Uh, I I really feel that way. I, I know the end was kind of like annoying. It was not holding. Nah, dude. The the Eli Apple freaking he blew it at the end. He did. Eli Apple 100. I think blew it at the end. The. Uh, I do think the call on Logan Wilson was questionable, but it kind of didn't matter because the next play you had the offsetting penalties, and the play after that you had the holding. You can't let him uh, grab ass for three quarters and so I was off, super praying trip. for the Bengals. Yeah, but I don't think. But I'm really excited for Stafford and Donald. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, Mr. Mustache. I mean, that's that's how I feel, really. At the end of the day, is uh, it was like really hard not to cheer for the Bengals, but it's good that Stafford gets a Super Bowl, you know. Bengals are going to be a force for the next 10 years. Um, do you guys think the Bengals are going to be good for a long time? Or do you guys Unrelated think lucky? question, but what keyboard and mouse do you use? Uh, Razer Naga and a Razer Huntsman Analog V2. This was Bengals one shot. They don't even have an indoor facility. Yeah, that's bad. Um, Just smashed my 4K TV in front of over 30 guests at my cocktail party because of the Bengals' performance today. My wife just took our crying kids and said they're all spending the night in a motel. This team has ruined my life and my party. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Uh, unoriginal Bengals fan. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars, unoriginal Bengals fan. <laughs> Eli Apple sold. Yeah, dude. Eli Apple, man. It's it. Here's the thing. It's so ironic that it was Eli Apple at the end of the game because that guy talks so much trash, dude. That guy talks so much trash. It was like, of course it's Eli Apple. Of course. That guy's always in some Twitter beef or something, dude. Damn, why Blue Gatorade? What, did you guys think it was going to be... Well, I mean, Blue Gatorade makes sense of the Rams. One NFL player doesn't talk trash. Uh, LAO Bench... There's a lot of players that don't talk trash. But there's like... Can you, can you back it up, right? That's really what it comes down to. Is it now time for ice cream? Chat, the Bengals are getting ice cream. The, er, uh, whoops. the Rams are getting ice cream. <laughs> Round of applause for my hometown. Go LA Rams. The Rams are getting ice cream. <laughs> so Aaron, uh, this is Aaron Rodgers, eight, eight, or not Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Donald's eight years in the NFL. Aaron Donald's been in the NFL eight years and his resume is unreal. Rookie of the year, 2014 Super Bowl As champion. As a Colts fan, I get major PTSD line. watching the Bengals play. That align with Burrow reminds me of watching Andrew Luck. Burrow gonna retire before he's 30 from injuries if they don't draft a fucking O-line. Joe Shiesty gonna become Joe Paralyzed. Yeah, um... Dude, they really have to work on their O-line, to be honest. Yeah, you're right, the, the Bengals are, are a lot. Um, seven times, first team All-Pro, three times Defensive Player of the Year, 10, 2010 All-Decade Team, 90-plus PFF grade every year, and he's only ever missed two games, and they're not injury-related. I'm telling you, this guy, I remember this guy coming out of college. I was like, I was hoping the Cowboys were going to draft him. I think this guy is going to go down, depending on how long he plays, is probably going to go down among the best NFL players literally ever. What does PFF stand for? Uh, pro Football Focus. They have a bunch of, like, scouts and, and like, former coaches and stuff grade uh, players. The Bengals are young and have a solid core. They're going to be contenders for the next 10 years. Just like the Seahawks were. Wait. Shit. Just like the Eagles were. Wait. God damn it. Never mind. <laughs> just, just amazing guy with the dog. Thanks for the 500 fans. <laughs> Congratulations to the Rams. Look, I do, I, I do think the Bengals are going to be good uh, going forward. Um, a lot of people think they're like a flash in the pan. Is anyone on the Rams live on Instagram? Dude, I kind of was hoping the Bengals would win for content, though, because if the Bengals won, oh, it would have been so good, dude. It would have been so good. Super Bowl Joe. Super Bowl Joe. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, man. Did you hear they are going to move the Super Bowl to Dallas so that no team gets a home team advantage? <sighs> Look, I'm telling you, the Cowboys will someday go back to the Super Bowl, Okay. Someday the Cowboys will go back to the Super Bowl. I know it's been like 30 years, but it's going to happen. Okay. 
It's gonna happen. At some point. Ever since Erod was born, they haven't made it. Well, that means we're just gonna have to find a way to fix that. I was at a game in Detroit once and Stafford <laughs> dislocated his shoulder, had it popped back in and lead a comeback. 40 of Stafford's 78 games are come from behind wins. He was such a good dude to the community in Detroit. I'm so happy to see him win. No, dude, I, I, I'm I, I'm really happy for Matt Stafford, man. Uh, I, I, Matt Stafford, Matthew Stafford has been one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL for the majority of his career. And he has not remotely gotten close to the amount of credit that he deserves because his team is so garbage. It, it, it was so hard to play well with the Lions because they are just an absolute dumpster fire of a franchise. That's just the reality of it. The, the Lions are so incredibly bad. I don't know how they're as bad as they are. Like, just time after time, they end up just blowing it. Right? Cup got MVP. There you go. I See, that's what I said. I said Cooper Cup should have probably been an F uh, MVP. I totally agree. I can make the Super Bowl Dallas Cup joke Stafford because I'm a watch. Jags fan. Dude, you know the play that just Cooper Cup is a dog? Was the play that got called back. They had holding and they had, uh, I don't know what they called it, holding on offense and pass interference on defense. He literally got like form tackled and he like shoved the guy into the ground and caught a touchdown pass. Like this kid is a grown man. Unreal. The Tim the Tatman Chris has been broken. <laughs> Why don't you believe Bengals are flashing the pan? Their roster is so young. The roster is so unbelievably young. Like, who is old on the Bengals? Check out Cooper Cup on Wikipedia. Cooper Cup was drafted 69th overall. Nice. For 54 years, the hosting team never made the Super Bowl, and in the last two years, the hosting team won the Super Bowl. It's kind of crazy, right? Adam Schefter listed both teams' free agents coming on this next season. All I'm going to say is both these front offices got some work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Third is Are American football official. Mountain Dew later this month. <laughs> Currently working for the National Football League. He has been since 2010. Wears uniform number 62. He's also responsible for leading the Rams character in Super Bowl. <laughs> Eli Apple, it's cool, big bro. You might get one of these one day, but in the meantime, just get better at your craft. No, dude. These guys talk so what? So there's beef between this guy and Eli Apple. That's why, those of you guys who don't know, it's <laughs> the Apple Pack.